let's get into this. We have a whole bunch of stuff here. What do we have? Let's see. We've got our lucky coin, which we've had forever in a day. Corkscrew, coal, a decoration plate, and the lovely witch sign, which we got off our squirrel buddy. Now let's have a look at our map here. Looks like we can go this way, and... I'm not sure what is going to be eyes on the bear. Uh, clay for the head? No. Hmm. Corkscrew, decoration plate, yes. Ah, now we're going to go back here to our cage and drop that there and see what we get. We now have a moon, which is going to go on the window here, or I guess the door. But uh, that's it, isn't it? Hmm. So I, I'm supposed to need a handle, but uh, don't have the handle. It looks like some crystals are missing. What if our witch's sign can go here? No. Hmm. Oh, that'll do it. We now have stars, which are going to go on our door here. Let's go into the witch's house. Sure, that won't be scary at all. Whoa. <laughs> you should never have broken into the witch's house. Whoa, what are we doing here? Clicking this, no? Yeah. Defense. I think we're gonna stop it in the green. Yeah, take that. Whoa, so bright and shiny. We have beat him. What do you have to say for yourself? Thank you. I've waited so long for someone to defeat me. Okay, I did not actually expect him to say thank you. I'm Philidor the Trickster. When I was a thief, I broke into the witch's house. To punish me, she turned me into the bodiless guard of her lands. Thanks to you, I'm free. A word of advice. Release the bird from its cage. Take this. It will help you search for the potion. I need to find the ingredients for the potion quickly and get out of here. Yeah. This place is trouble. Another birdie to release. Dear, my dear Liliana, I'm glad your experiment was successful. Turning the lumberjack into a werewolf servant is beyond praise, but I can't approve that new idea of yours. It's just too much. Aunt Ursula. I don't like the sounds of this new idea. That could be a problem. Looks like that's the kitchen. And we have the other wing here for our owl buddy. Which is going to go right there. Looks like we need a snake for that, and a bat for that, hmm. Kind of a sinister looking house, no? Feels like it to me. I think we have to go this way to add the head here of the gargoyle. And now we have a couple crystals, and a wooden panel, hmm. So, crystals have to go back here. Ah, but I'm still missing a red one. Now, panel. Hmm. What does our map say? Back here. Ah, yes, on the tree, of course. And it's the third and final crystal. Information. 
using the crystals paint the symbols on the head based on their shapes uh, okay let's see here green and there now we have the snake back into the house we go let's find out what's in here it's glitter excellent Ooh, we're looking for kind of rooney shapes here from the looks of it why is there a head in there what an eyeballs over there yikes this is creepy. Whoa, we're spilling it out of. Oh, is that like a gremlin in there? Poor gremlin. Poor thing. We actually get to keep it? Wow, let's pop it open. It's like a bunny rabbit or something. Do you need a bottle? <gasps> you have a second pet? Select a pet to switch to a helper whose help you need. Two pets? Good grief, this is amazing. So that's key's probably gonna go there. Yep. I don't know what your name is, pet, but we're gonna call you Floppy. Feathered and Floppy. Just hang on, Ellie. I'm sure the ingredients are nearby. Whoa, we got octopus in there. Oh my gosh, look at these poor frogs. Ew, gross. Frogs for breakfast, yum. I think that goes there. Okay, so we've got birds. Bird pieces from the looks of it. And now we've got ourselves a bird. I'm not shoving my hand in there. Ew, spider webs. Okay, so let's see. Information, we need to select the matching pairs of items to find a useful tool. So I think I can do that, put that there, that goes there, and then we've got the last one. So we now have a knife. I'm not sure what we're going to do with our octopus, but we'll see. Your new helper is nimble. It's perfect when you need something in places that are difficult to access. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> Thank you for the eye. The fire is in my way. Well, we have a well handle, so let's go to the well and see what we can dig up. We got water. I need something to cut the rope with. And I have another eye. Two eyes. Oh, I think that's going to be for our bear. What lovely eyes you have, bear. Flame amulet. Okay. That looks like we're going to need a couple more of those. Oh, but I bet you can put the fire out. <laughs> oh, why is there an octopus boiling in there? Yikes. Pattern piece. So that's a bat. Oh yeah, it's gonna go right here. Here we go. Two birds. Still something to do here? Hmm, need a couple crystals. Okay. Ah, we're gonna get our birdie out now. Third pet? It's a human being! I'm glad I could lift a spell for her. Or a spell from her? Sure. Thank you. I'm Valeria. When I crossed the witch's path, she turned me into a bird. Poor thing. You're looking handsome there. I see you're looking for potion ingredients to save your sister. I can help. Great, would love to have your help. The witch keeps her valuables in a compartment behind the deer head. You'll find things to open it in the attic. Take this. It'll help you get to the attic. That would be wonderful. Whoa, where are you running off to? Wow, that animation was actually pretty cool. 
No, stay with me, help me. I want you as a pet. <laughs> that actually came out a little wrong, but you know what I mean. So what do we have here? A sickle. Hmm. Oh my gosh, look at these evil rats. Get in there, deal with those evil rats. Yeah, kick that one. <laughs> awesome. Dollies for days. Hmm, okay, so we got the other one there which we needed. So let's go back downstairs. And yeah, we'll put those on the fire pit and see what happens. Two bits here. This is a figurine part and a skull. Let's take care of those gross spider webs. Ew, gross. Pitcher piece. Uh, sure. Where the heck's the pitcher? Uh, let's see here. No, not sure. Oh, the head. Nope. I would love to have those clock hands, thank you very much. No, that's not where the clock was. It was right here. Right here. Apparently not right here. Apparently it's over here. Ah, alright, let's do this first. Are we gonna get a super puzzle? I'm Lillian. Now known as the Forest Witch. I come from an ancient line of witches. All of the women in my family practiced dark magic. You did, did you? Uh, one more. Where is it? Right on her chest. My mother suffered a terrible fate. Those people didn't understand the dark arts. They killed her. And banished me. Ouch! That's like a Game of Thrones episode. Spoilers. <laughs> I won't say anything more than that. I took shelter in an abandoned house in the forest. You sure did. Moons. Okay. Now we'll hit the last one. No, it's not the last one, Gibbs. All Gibs. I did was study magic. Now I'm ready to make them pay for killing my mother. Oh boy, revenge. Age old motive. Ooh, I'll take that. We now have this thingy majiggy. Oh, I only have one of two, though. Uh, hmm, I should find a rose. What's my dolly gonna do? Let's have a look at our map. Looks like we need to go back to the attic. Still not entirely sure what's going on here. Uh, look at everything hanging up here. That's kind of gross. Dried birds or something, and who knows what else is going on. Why doesn't this work here? It's weird. Something's missing here. Apparently the skull is. Ah, there we go. Now we can fix the clock. And we now have a pattern half. Hmm. Does that go here? No, the gem would go there, no? Yeah, I think so. Pattern half. It's a rose. All right, that's good. We're going to put that right here. Beautiful. And then back down here. It's all come together nicely. It's a puzzle. Oh, boy. Select the rays in the right order. They will stay lit when the order is correct. Okay. Okay. Beautiful. Select matching pairs of runes. Hmm. 
got you. That one goes there. And then, it's a super puzzle. I like the way they've done this though. This is nice. Slick looking. Complete the center symbol, select the symbol's parts on the side, and place them in the empty symbols in the center. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, sure. I like this because it you have kind of a clear uh, progression here. I don't know why that's not working. Oh, because it doesn't have a dot on it. There we go. And then... Hmm. That might go there, actually. Yep. That probably goes there. It's all coming together now nicely. And let's see. No. That and that. A couple more and then we are finished. Hmm. One more. Who? Who is this one? And again! <laughs> Move the symbol so that the lines don't cross. Oh boy. Let's see here. Hmm. And around we go. We're so close. Ah. Hmm. What if we do this? That still goes there, that still goes there. Hmm. <laughs> I think I'm making this worse. <gasps> We're so close. Hmm, think about this one for a minute here. Yes! We did it! Wait, is this puzzle ever gonna end? Move the spider to the legs to the correct spots. Oh. What's considered the proper spot though? Hmm. Oh, and I can switch them over here? Oh, it locks when you've got it right. Ah! That makes more sense. Cool, cool. I can kind of do this a little bit brute forcey, but that's okay. Good, good, good. Left side is done. found what I was looking for, when I went to take it, a magical sphere showed me a glimpse of the future. She's crying. 
<gasps> it's game over, everyone. That is the end of the beta. Midnight Calling Geronimo. I'm your Gibbs. Ooh, pretty cool. I like the way they did the bonus, uh, or I guess super puzzles, if you were, where there was about five or six layers there, but they were all linear. Like, you didn't have to kind of stare at a giant screen and go, what the hell, where do I start? Liked it. Definitely going to check this game out. Would love to hear your thoughts. Go ahead and let me know in the comments. I'm your Gibbs, and I'll see you next time.